Onyx colorway? Is it Onyx? In our Pokemon. Perfect. Hello broskies and welcome back to another edition of Buy or Buy. And if you're new here, I'm Erkin and this is the life of a broski, where of course I bring you sneakers, a lifestyle, a more waffle than Captain Birdseye. So broskies, of course, as a lot of you may know, I'm not really a Yeezy or Jordan kind of guy. And as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, this of course is a Yeezy sneaker. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn your notifications on. But anyways, broskies, back to the meat and potatoes of this video. And on today's episode, I am reviewing the Yeezy 380 Pepper. Now, this is indeed my first 380 silhouette, so it's only right we take a look at the box first. Not too bad and not too much. So, of course, you've got the 380 on the top of the box. On the side, we've got Boost. On the back, I'm gonna say, Yeezy Boost 380 with all the sizing. And the official name is Pepper, Pepper, Pepper. Of course, these are a size 9 UK, which I am. That's pretty much it. Made by Adidas on that side. And at the front is Yeezy Boost 380, made by Adidas. Let's take a look in the box, shall we? Oh, hello, that's nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we, of course, have this little brown envelope with red pepper laces, normal laces as well. Now the reason you get these red pepper laces is because we have that unity lacing system on this sneaker. But of course, we're gonna talk about that more in a bit. Put it around my neck. And that's it. Nothing else in the box, just, just the tissues. Uh oh. Now I know, the 380 isn't the most popular among the Yeezy heads. But in my opinion, these have definitely grown on me since its initial release. Now this colorway came out on the 12th of September in the UK and there was a reflective version, but you can't spell lemon without the L and that is what I took. And broskies, if you are looking to cop a pair, I will leave some affiliate links down below. So make sure you check it out. But I managed to cop these on Offspring for 200 pounds and it was a pretty easy buy. And of course, there's been so many Yeezy releases over the past year. And the hype around Yeezy sneakers, it's just not what it used to be. And I can't really see these reselling for that much because of how easy it was to cop. But anyways, broskies, looking around this sneaker, this 380 Pepper silhouette has of course that prime knit upper, which has that textured feeling, which include the colors of a light cream, a very light blue, of course pink, and on the lateral side, there is that dark orange strip, which has that crystallized finish. And going to the medial, on the same panel, but just a lighter orange finish. Now the prime knit design of this sneaker is very much symmetrical, but what separates it is the strips on the lateral and medial side. They're of course just a different color. Now one thing that really drew me to this sneaker is those perspiration holes, which also act as lace beads. And talking about lacing, this Unity lacing system, and the only way to tie it is to pull that rubber tab at the top. And of course, if you're not a fan of this lacing system, that is the reason they've given you those normal red pepper laces. But you would have to cut these laces off. That's the only way you can replace them. Going to the collar of this 380 silhouette is of course that sock-like feature, which keeps your ankle nice and snug. Going towards the heel counter, there isn't much going on. And one of the standout features to this sneaker is that translucent midsole. Now there is that black panel underneath, so the boost technology isn't exposed completely. And this is your very much traditional 380 outsole in the color of that translucent gum with the boost foam underneath. So broskies, that is my first look at this 380 silhouette. And the more I look at this pepper colorway, the more I'm starting to like it. A couple of the 380 colorways, 
mm, have been a bit questionable. I think that's what put me off the 380 in general. And the shape of this silhouette is very different to the most popular 350 and that sock liner to the collar. I feel like you're either a fan of it or you're not. Seeing these online didn't do much for me, but having these in hand and on foot, it's honestly a different kettle of fish. Now in terms of sizing, this 380 is a bit tricky. For me, they were true to size. They fit a lot better than the 350s because with those, you'd have to go half a size up. But for me, I went true to size and they fit just fine. However, what I'm going to say is right at the tip of the toe, it sort of dips a little. And of course that takes a lot of getting used to, but I feel if I went half a size up, they wouldn't have felt as comfortable. So for me, these were true to size. Now, speaking of comfort, and I know there are gonna be pitchforks in the comments, but I'm gonna say it. These were actually the most comfortable Yeezys I have ever tried on. And the 350s are amazing, but there's just something about this sneaker, that reconstructed midsole, that sock liner on the ankle, and that prime knit material, it just sits on your foot a lot better. So out of 10 for comfort, I'm gonna give a nine. It would have been a little bit higher. It's just that dip on the toe box. Initially, it's not a nice feeling, but once you're used to it, the comfort on this sneaker is top notch. Now, when it comes to the breathability, I'm always gonna have to compare sneakers to the Ultra Boost and Flyknit. The way they have mastered the structure on sneakers alongside the cream of the crop breathability, for me, it's just unrivaled. But honestly, the Prime Knit Upper is not that far behind. And what boosts, excuse the pun, the ventilation of this sneaker is of course those lacing holes. And they of course add a lot more breeziness to this sneaker. So out of 10, I'm gonna give another nine. So broskies, we have come to the part of the video where I decide if these are a buy or a buy. Now broskies, of course the 380 has been out long enough now. And in my opinion, the colorways, it just hasn't done this sneaker justice. But the colors on this sneaker, all the different shades on this pepper silhouette, I'm actually a big fan. I feel like a couple of the 380 colorways, they've just tried a bit too hard. I'm actually curious to see when they bring out the black colorway. I think it's called Onyx. Onyx. Onyx colorway? Is it Onyx? In our Pokemon. Let me just confirm, because that's gonna bug me. Hold on. It is called Onyx, and it is also a Pokemon. So there you go. You learn something new every day, kids. Yes, you do. So I have got my eyes on that 380 Onyx and I've heard through the grapevine that they will be releasing in November. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna look. But broskies, this being 200 pounds in the UK, is sort of in between the 350 and the 700s. And that pricing sits about right. I'm a massive fan of how these feel on foot, that premium feel to the materials on the upper and just the overall shape. The only thing I will say though, in my opinion, these just sit a lot better with shorts. And in terms of wearing trousers, I feel like these sneakers do limit you. It's just that sock liner to the ankle. I couldn't wear half of my trousers or bottoms just because it wouldn't go. But with shorts, no problem. So broskies overall, I am very impressed. I didn't think I'd like this silhouette so much. And for me, this is actually the best colorway to come out. So of course my answer is, a buy. It just does enough for me to separate itself from all the other Yeezy sneakers. And this colorway is as simple and desirable as it gets. But broskies, let me know what you think. Are you a fan of the 380 silhouette? Do you like this pepper colorway? Or do you prefer a different Yeezy? Leave your comments down below. And of course, I will be pinning the best one. Anyways, broskies, that's enough from me. I do hope you liked this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and of course, until the next episode, take care. <laughs>